When it comes to ensuring the man will stay and commit to any given woman and to be happy within one love, there are some basic things you should become understanding to. Men are manly beings and women are womanly beings. You can't just think that a guy that you connect with who you feel the prospect of a future, that he will always know what you are feeling or thinking. I say that because it is an enormous common reason for men becoming so frustrated and simply taking off and forgetting about you in an instant. You see, for an example, in my own life, I was with a girl who had all the gifts of attraction. I mean, yeah, she was sexy. Her personality was pretty good also. We dated for roughly seven months casually, then thought we would have a go at living together. And this is when everything gets the personal test. And after just the first couple of weeks, I felt I had to be a mind reader to keep her happy about so much stuff. It was doing my head in. For an example, she was getting annoyed at me because I was supposed to know that where she left the salt and pepper was where the salt and pepper lived ornamental. I was like, what? Okay, compromising. This is to be understood at some point, but for a man, it's... Just the salt and pepper. I can stay on, it can stay on the table, the bench, or pantry. It, it doesn't really matter. That is, a, is an analogy, ensuring your man will stay. Never get annoyed with him over the small stuff. It is exceptionally off-putting. And will send him packing for sure. While we were dating... We would spend some great times together and we would always talk about the things that we were interested in doing with life. You know, like our hobbies are and what we felt inspired to do in the future and stuff, which is cool and things like this really need to be discussed. But when we moved in together, can you guess what happened when I wanted to get out into a my garage and work on a hobby of mine, or when I wanted to go out fishing with my bros. You guessed it. Many girls and guys, I must say, tend to believe that committed means that they own your time and you become expected to be there all of the time, even if you're doing nothing. This is not how you go about ensuring your man will stay for good and bad times. The greatest relationships of all time are ones that have individual lives outside the relationship and let those times become interest in one another. A great discovery was found when I watched a video of a guy named T.W. Jackson who created a program for women. You can see how his girl gets ring helps here at the at the link in the description.